what's up you guys so today what we got going on is we got some harvesting going on and some of the 3x3s and we'll talk about those here in a minute and uh, in the 4x4 of course as you guys know we got the new lighting going on in here so I think we're gonna start it off in here show you guys around in the 4x4 auto flower tent with the new lighting and then we'll work our way down and uh, we also have to talk about the purple punch and I'll show you where, where that plant is and how that plant is doing um, a little bit later on as well so yeah we'll go over all that here in a little bit but right now we'll start with the 4x4 all right well there we go we finally got some natural better lighting in this 4x4 auto flower tent as you guys can see everything looks so much better you can see the plant so much clearer it looks great in here much much better so it is day 53 for these four auto flowers right here we got the skittles og in the back corner there our bag seed amnesia in the three gallon pot right there and we got our white widow up front here we got our northern lights there these here are just the clones photo period clones that are going to be moved over into that tent and those will be flowered here within the next couple days actually uh, i probably will let them veg out just a little while longer in one of those tents over there before flipping the flower um, probably around the time that they need to be top dressed is when I'll flip the flower which will be um, sometime I believe next week for them uh, but back to the auto flowers everybody's doing good every every plant looks he happy healthy no issues going on our backseat amnesia still got a weird colored leaf going on there uh, but no nothing else major going on with this plant so I think we're good uh, the Skittles OG back there is just eating up that whole back corner and then we got the Northern Lights back there, barely poking her head up there. White Widow, looking good as well. So in this tent, we got the Fat Banana in the back corner. We got the Great White Shark in the front. And as you guys can see, the critical plant is gone. That plant has been harvested. It is day 56 of flower. And the critical plant was harvested about three days ago so that plant was finished up and the great white shark here is actually finished as well so i'm just mainly waiting for the pot to dry out just a little bit and i will be harvesting this plant probably tonight or in the morning um, so this plant will be joining the critical plant in drying fat banana i believe has probably maybe another couple days maybe a week out of her i'm not sure um, we'll see I'm definitely keeping a close eye on her. She is uh, definitely changing fast, so I will keep a close eye on that plant for sure. But uh, yeah, the Great White Shark, she's coming down probably tonight or in the morning. Critical's gone. And in this tent, we got the blue cheese here in the corner. We got the purple Afghan Kush and the pineapple chunk. As you guys can see, very colorful in this tent. Purple Afghan Kush is throwing off purple leaves everywhere. Very beautiful plant gorgeous plant we got the blue cheese over here which is also finished so i will be cutting that plant down either tonight or tomorrow along with the other plant so that plant is coming out she's done pot good and dry she's ready to go haven't seen much change in the pineapple chunk up front here uh, she's just kind of just chilling here just taking up space so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to push her for maybe one more week see if i can get a little bit of fade out of her just maybe a tiny bit um, and um, I'm gonna chop her sometime next week probably with this plant here the uh, purple Afghan Kush I believe this plant here still has at least another week to go along with the fat banana and the other tent so um, I'll probably just chop all three of those together and then we will get rid of the other two tonight or in the morning they will be chopped and then here we are with problem child we have our auto flower here which is on a 12 12 cycle this is our purple punch as you guys can see a little bit of a change in this plant this plant may look different to some of you guys definitely seeing some positive growth which is good so uh, thank you guys for the suggestions as to putting this plant in the 12 12 cycle so uh, it has been I believe day seven now I did it last Sunday I put the plant in here uh, as you guys were suggesting it in the comments I put the plant in here so it's been about a week now I have been seeing a lot of positive growth as you guys can see the branches are much stronger everything's standing upright uh, the plant looks happy healthy so I think I'm, I'm what I'm gonna do is keep her in here for another day or two and then I am gonna move her back into the 186 uh, autoflower tent 
18-6 light schedule. Uh, put her back on that and hopefully she will be good to go. But yes, thank you guys again for the suggestions. Uh, I appreciate it. This worked perfectly. Um, I've never had this happen before, like I said before, and uh, this is all a new experience to me. So, but yeah, hopefully she can catch up and hopefully she won't finish too far behind the other ones. But as you guys can, as you guys can see, this plant does have a long way to go. She has pretty much just begun flower and the other ones are well in the flower. So I wanted to give you guys one last look at the auto flower tent before we go. As you guys can see, no more purple light. We got a better light. We got better lighting in here. A lot easier for you guys to see. A lot easier for me to see. A lot easier for you guys to tell what's going on with the plants. A lot easier for me to work and tell what's going on with the plants as well. So very happy with these lights. Plants seem happy. I'm happy. These are the Mars Hydro SP250. So if you guys are interested in these lights, I will leave a link down below for them. And for the Mars Hydro SP150s, there will be a link down below for those lights as well. Just one single light is good for a four foot by two foot tent. Two lights is good for a four foot by four foot tent, which I have two of them in here now. This is a four foot by four foot auto flower tent. And these are perfect for it. So once again, thank you Mars Hydro for helping me to upgrade I do appreciate it. But alright you guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.